What's up everybody? It's Strings and Sweaters. My name is Tim. Thank you guys for joining me. Quick shout out to my band. We just played a show last night. Our name is Bend the Knee. You can check us out on Bend the Knee on Facebook, Bend the Knee on YouTube. We're also on Spotify and Apple Music. We have a two song demo out. Here's some cool clips from our show really quick. Um, <laughs> so after, um, probably about a week of getting this awesome Coyotes jersey, I decided that I would take one more swing at the reverse retro jersey pool and get one more. This is my last jersey. I'll be unboxing for a while if you guys want to be very kind and send me <laughs> some jerseys that would be awesome this could literally be a jersey that is collecting cobwebs in your closet but i will review it and unbox it if you want to send it but i don't know if i'll have any new jerseys for a long time but that's okay because we're going to start different content that i'm going to start doing like some uh, nhl 23 video game content some guitar content uh, some more band related stuff um, and obviously more jersey stuff talking about maybe how to repair certain problems on jerseys how to maintain jerseys ranking more jerseys um, talking about hockey goalie masks so I have lots of things planned for the future um, but I hope you guys stay and stick around for the ride it's going to be a good one now Let's get into this. So this is very exciting. I want to really relish the moment here um, because this is going to be one of the best jerseys I unbox here. So let's get into it. Here's the package. It showed up yesterday at my doorstep. Actually, it was in my mailbox, which actually... Oh boy, rewind. I'm actually a little bit worried about this jersey. I know I said it on the last one with this Coyotes about the crest being folded. Now, hopefully there's no damage done to the crest, but they literally put this in my mailbox and bent it like this. Are these people out of their mind? Like, what are they thinking? Anyhow, here it is. I'll give you guys the first peek. You can guess what it is. Put your guesses in the comments. See if you can get it right. It is one of the new reverse retros. Pull this open. Here we go. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Any guesses? Does that help? All right. Okay. Let's take this jersey out. Let's unveil it. All right. Let's take this jersey out of the box. Let's see how it is. Here we go. Whew. Wow. Oh, it's upside down. Look at that. Wow. Look at these colors. Amanda, look at these colors. She does not like this at all, but she's not happy when I get any jerseys. So. All right. Let's, let's open this bad boy up. Whew. Look at that. Stitching. Wow. The Blues really, they outdid themselves with this jersey. This might be one of my favorite reverse retro jerseys. The Blues normal home and way jersey are probably my favorite jerseys in the NHL. I love the three stripes or the two stripes that they have at the top. I love their dark blue, but I really like the light blue on this one. And the yellow is, it just pops. This looks amazing. So here we go. I'll show you a close-up of that crest. Check that out. Look at the stripes near the waist there. Quick look at the back there. Although there's not much going on. Now I got this in a size 46. Um, so we'll see how it fits. We'll throw it on really quick. But I am just overjoyed with this logo here. This this is just an, an amazing, an amazing reverse retro. And we have 19 
66 is the date. All right. Let's throw this thing on. Um, let me take the tags off. I'll give you a little history on this jersey if you guys don't already know. So the reverse retros are sort of, they're supposed to be going back to a jersey in the team's history and sort of making it uh, a twist on it that makes it more modern. I mean, it's really anything they want to do. But this Blues jersey has actually, was never worn by the Blues. It was a concept for their first jersey ever. And it only exists in a newspaper article where it shows the team wearing it. So it never hit the ice. So this is a relic jersey, basically. It is. It's such a cool thing to do. The what the Blues did, and um, it might be the most reverse retro jersey ever. So super hyped to have this in my collection. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Is this one of your favorite reverse retros? Does it look like poop? What do you think? All right, let me try this baby on. Okay, here it is. This 46 actually fits kind of big. That's so weird. So I had two 46 jerseys. I had this uh, Capitals 46, and I have this uh, Panthers 46. And they both fit um, sort of tight, which is fine. Um, just wouldn't wear a hoodie under them, but they fit perfect. It's just like long, long sleeve over the top um, shirts. Um, so... Uh, this though, it kind of reminds me of a 50, like, yeah, that's actually kind of strange. Weird how the sizing works on these new reverse retros, but, uh, let me give you a shot of this Jersey. I'll do a 360, show you all the different angles. Unfortunately, I don't got any numbers or shoulder patches for this one. Not that this Jersey would have a shoulder patch, but, um, hopefully I can get some of these blank jerseys I have customized with numbers in the future. So. That would be very cool to get like an O'Reilly on this one. All right, let's move the mic out of the way and let you guys check this out. Now that, that crest is just too cool. So awesome. This is probably my favorite blues logo. Um, check out the back there. Check out the sleeves. Very nice. Love the striping there. Awesome. This is just very solid. I really think they did an amazing job with the stitching on this. That is so cool. Sit back down here. Oh. Okay. Well, that's it for this re re that's it for this jersey review. Thank you guys for checking it out. Again, please subscribe, please share, um and please check out some of the other videos I have posted. Um I'm going to try to post more content in the future. Uh try to post daily. I really want to dedicate more of my time to this channel. I'm really passionate about hockey and hockey jerseys. And I see that you guys are too from your comments. So thank you guys for spending the time with me here. Um, peace out, y'all.